Night news, smoking indoors at Wisconsin workplaces is now illegal. The statewide smoking ban took effect at midnight. It covers all indoor workplaces like bars and restaurants. And Allison Struve is live at Croftsies in Green Bay this morning to talk about some of the changes they've made. Good morning, Allison. Good morning, Rachel. That's right. We're at Cropsey's Bar on State Street in Green Bay. If you take a look outside the window, you can see the biggest difference that they've made. They've built a patio here uh, with outdoor seating and outdoor bar to accommodate their customers who smoke since they can't smoke indoors any longer. You'll also notice there are no ashtrays out. There are no matches. Uh, all to uh, comply with the new law, the new law of the land here in Wisconsin, that indoor smoking is banned in, in workplaces and, and businesses. And we're with Renee Schultz, who's uh, the bartender here at Cropsies. Good morning, Renee. Good morning. So we're early in the day, obviously, mm -hmm. but there's a big difference already, right? Right, right. Okay, yep. so people can no longer smoke here. No longer smoke, right. Um, you actually already had to tell somebody, right? Yes, yes. I already had to tell somebody that came in and started lighting one up, and I said, no, yeah. no longer can. So. Do you think it's going to be different in here? Um, I just think in the in the beginning, you know, because so many people are so used to doing it. Mm -hmm. But we have such it's so nice outside too. Well, today, of course, the weather isn't nice, but the outside is so nice that mm -hmm. it's going to be. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Do you have people been complaining at all about this ban? Um, I haven't really heard any complaints. You know, a lot of people joked around, like said, you know, this is just going to be for smokers only, and that, you know, but really no complaints. Yeah, no, so. How about how about among the bartenders? I mean, are any of the bartenders relieved or disappointed? Um, a lot of them are probably relieved a little bit, you know, because you know when you bartend, you know, you do get a lot of that mm -hmm. that smoke and that. Um, I'm not really sure how yeah. they feel or you know. But. Yeah, and um, I know Cropsy's to you the new outdoor patio. Do you think it's going to be a big deal for people to have to go outside to smoke? A big deal as in... Are they going to be mad about it? Or? No, I don't think so. I just think it's just going to be a little bit in the beginning, you know, just like, oh, we have to do this. And But no, I think I think it'll be nice out there for, for them to do that. Thank you, Renee. Thank you. So a lot of places being trying to be accommodating to those smoking customers. And those requirements, again, there's uh, obviously no smoking. And the requirements for the bartenders and people working in these places, they must tell the people to stop smoking, like Renee did already this morning. They have to post warning signs, no smoking signs, get rid of all those ashtrays and everything. They also um, have to threaten to make the person leave if they don't stop smoking and um, call law enforcement if the person who's smoking refuses to leave. So there's a fine of $100 to $250 uh, for a person who smokes at a place of business indoors and uh, places of business can be fined $100 a day after a warning if they are allowing people to smoke. So um, it's really up to the place of business, Rachel, to, to be enforcing this as we've heard so far, but law enforcement could get involved if necessary. So we're going to stick around here this morning, see what uh, some of the customers think about this new law in Wisconsin. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Allison. Allison Street reporting live in Green Bay this morning.